Week 11, problem 9. The wavelength of red helium neon laser, laser light in air is 632.8 nanometers. What is the frequency? Bam! We totally got this. So, we know that velocity equals distance over time, which equals wavelength times frequency. Got it. All right, so frequency equals C, eh, I'll say V, V over lambda. <clears throat> and since we know the wavelength, we can figure this out. So we have three times 10 to the eighth over 632 times 10 to the negative ninth, nano negative ninth, which is going to give us I'm just going to wolfram it. Well, okay. I'm going to do 3 over 632.8 times 10. 8 plus 9 is 17. Because 10 to the negative 9th on the bottom, the same as 10 to the 9th on the top. So, 3 divided by 632.8. And then we'll multiply this guy times 10 to the 17th. 3 times 10 to the... 17. Nope, not Wikipedia, Wolfram. And we have 4.74 times 10 to the 14th equals 4.74 times 10 to the 14th. Okay, and I think that's in the uh, visible range, so that makes sense. So let's do 4.74 times 10 to the 14th. Okay, what is its wavelength? In glass, has an index or a fraction of 1.6 seconds. Okay, so V equals D over T, which equals lambda F. Okay, and I'm going to rewrite this guy again for wavelength. So V over lambda, nope, they want wavelength. Over frequency equals lambda. All right, so the idea of index refraction is when, th when light is not in a vacuum, it slows down, which is why you always hear the whole um, caveat that light travels uh, at 2.99 meters per second in a vacuum. The vacuum portion is actually reasonably important. All right, so now we have uh, velocity, 3 times 10 to the 8th, Frequency and lambda. We're looking for the wavelength. All right. <clears throat> so um, when light transitions to a different material, not a not a vacuum, um, its speed and wavelength will change, but not its frequency. Frequency will always stay the same. So um, let me talk about index or fraction real quick. They they the sciency peoples always say things like um, index refraction, which is n. And n is just c over v, speed of light over velocity. It's the ratio of uh, speed of light compared to whatever speed it is when it's not in a vacuum. Um, so I try and avoid index refraction whenever I can. Uh, whenever I hear index refraction, all I think of immediately is some sort of speed relation. So whenever I can, I always rewrite index refraction, which is usually n, as C over V, because that's what it really is. It's not, um, and so you have kind of like an inverse relationship of index or fraction with speed, but really they're just talking about speed anyway, so just cut to the chase, cut to the chase. All right, so we have, so first thing I'm gonna do is we have an index or fraction here, and what I need is V. So therefore I'm gonna rewrite this guy as V equals C over N, which equals, Two point, I'm gonna go with three, just to make it easier. Three times 10 to the eighth over 1.6, which is the index refraction for this guy. So, normally I'd carry everything through and make it all nice and pretty, but I'm not. Three times 10 to the eighth divided by 1.6. Bum, 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 and I have 1.87 times 10 to the eighth, one, two, three, yep. I'm going to say a 1.88. I'm going to call this 1.88 times 10 to the 
times 10 to the eighth. So what this index or fraction saying is that in the second material, um, light only travels at 1.88 times 10 to the negative, uh, times 10 to the eighth meter second instead of 2.99. So we know, oh, we still need to find the frequency though. What is the wavelength in glass that has an index? Wavelength in glass, what is its wave? So we're using the same frequency, got it. So, sorry, jiggling all around, that's gonna make it a, maybe give you uh, some sort of C sickness, motion sickness, 1.88 times 10 to the eighth meters per second, divided by, and we already had something up here, 4.74 times 10 to the 14th, divided by 4.74 times 10 to the 14th per second, because that's what a hertz is, and that equals, all right, so now I'm gonna try this trick of clicking on this number, mm -hmm. carry it forward, 4.74 times 10 to the 14th, 4.74 times 10 to the 14th. This is gonna give us something small. So we get 3.95, where they want it, nanometers, okay. So, 3. Eh, 3.96, I'll say 3.96. 3.96 times 10 to the negative seventh. Okay. And then I'm gonna multiply this by, and this is meters, times one meter per 10 to the ninth nanometers, which gives us 10 to the negative seventh times 10 to the ninth is 10 to the second, second. And that gives us 396 times, nothing, just nanometers. Bam, right there, 396, score. I'm gonna go to blue, I like blue. All right, 396 nanometers. That should be a different, yep. So, hmm, what about 632 divided by, um, oh, what are you doing out there? Get back in, okay. What about three, 632 divided by, hmm, hmm, hmm. There's probably a relationship here. 632.8 divided by, 396. I have a feeling this is going to give us 1.6. Bam! Totally did. So, a shortcut you can use in life is the frequency gets smaller by a factor of 1.6. Just like velocity gets smaller by a factor of 1.6. Um, totally legitimate. Completely works. I don't like to memorize things, so all I do is I memorize that index or fraction makes it move slower. Um, if you want, you can also memorize the fact that it makes the wavelength smaller. Eh, you can. But I always go through this in this method right here, where all I say is the index or fraction affects only the velocity, which will in turn affect the wavelength, and then frequency will stay the same. All right, what is its speed in the glass? Aha, I think they intended us to do 632 divided by 1.6. Doesn't matter, don't care. So I already did this right here. Did I do this here already? I think I already did. Yep, I already did. 1.38 times 1.88. So we know this is going to be 1.88 times 10 to the eighth meters per second times, they want megameters. So one meter is the same as, nope, 10 to the six meters is the same as one megameter. This will become 10 to the second. This guy will go away the meters will go away. We have 188, because 10 to the second times 1.88. 188 megameters per second. So this is obviously not the way they expected us to solve the problem, because otherwise they would have asked this question first and that question second. That's okay. Um, this is how I do it. And if you understand this method, I think it will help you out better and it's just one, one less thing you have to memorize. All right, that's all for problem nine on problem 10.